No, your eyes are not deceiving you. There are two Fendigraphics here. So the question is, which one did I choose? This is the dilemma when you do not have a boutique near you. If you're interested to see, then please stay tuned. The video will be really quick. I have been eyeing the Fendigraphy, I think that's how you pronounce it, for a minute. And I actually blame a couple of YouTubers who have this bag. And when I saw theirs, I was like, oh my gosh, that bag is kind of cute. The problem, well, not the problem. So how I ended up with two of these bad boys is that they have so many different styles. Well, not, I'm sorry, not styles, but they have a couple of different options now. You can get them with different hardware, silver, gold, a braided strap, or just the traditional belt-like strap. So I had options. And so that's why I ended up with two. And now I am here to show you both and you know which one I picked at the end backtrack and I will also discuss the pros and cons things that I like in each one okay without further ado let's open these bad boys up all right so here we go here are the phenographies that I have I have the original one obviously both in black with the gold hardware let's try this way there we go <laughs> and this one here is with the braided tech uh leather obviously i like it in black and that was what i wanted i wanted a an all black leather handbag that was soft flexible something that i could carry over my shoulder Maybe even crossbite if I wanted to, as well as handheld. So both bags do give me those options, but there are features that I like in this one over this one. And then there's features that I like in this one over this one. Now, these handbags, they're act they're out there the same size. And I will have to put the dimensions up top because I don't have I don't have any notes down here but they are like they are the same this one here is a little bit heavier than this one but like i said i'll put the information on a screenshot or and or listed above all right so let me i'm going to first talk about this phenography what i love about this one here is the details this leather this wo woven leather braided leather however you want to call it is absolutely stunning and i love the fact that the fendi is so discreet it's truly a and if you know you know and i just want to get this a little bit closer this particular style i have not seen on youtube and i really haven't even seen it on instagram now that i'm thinking about it so like I said, I absolutely, I love the discreetness of this bag. The leather is soft you, and I can just smell the aroma of the leather of this bag. But what I don't like about this bag is the handle. I have a similar handle that I got from Amazon. I use on my Neo Noe. And I don't like the texture of this. And even though this is detachable, and you can put other straps on there because I actually tested it out with my Neo Noe strap as a crossbody and a shoulder bag. So it does work. But this here is the drop, which is perfect for your shoulder. But it doesn't allow, it's a little bit too, it's a little bit too much of a drop to use as a handheld. It looks kind of funky. It looks kind of old ladyish. So it doesn't work as well as a handheld but it's perfect for a shoulder so that's bag number one so bag number two the one that we do see on instagram we do see on youtube and you've seen several reviews so I won't really go into details about the features of this bag but i will say what i love about this model is that I love the strap. 
And with this strap, I am able to really make it a handheld, which I love. And I can loosen up these and put this on the bottom, put this on this strap right here on this hole and make this a shoulder bag. As well as obviously get a different strap. Like I said, I can use my Neo Noe strap to really make it a shoulder bag or even a crossbody bag. And this one here, because it doesn't have the braided, de braided detail, it is even softer than the first model. If I had to have a con, which obviously I look as I have a con for this one, so I have a con for this one, is that this is this plate right here. This plate, although the bag is discreet, when you turn it up, it just screams, Ah! <laughs> so that was the one thing that I was kind of concerned about was, like I said, this plate. Now, both of these bags, I per I did not purchase from the boutique. I actually purchased both of these from Satire. And the shipping was relatively fast. Now, they kind of got me with this one right here. This, it didn't have any protective plastic on the bottom, nor did it have a tag. So that kind of irritated me just a little bit. Whereas, as you can see, this one here does have a tag. So the question is, which one am I keeping? Which one am I returning? And when I tell you, as I'm looking at both of these, they're obviously I can't keep up. It doesn't make sense, but they're both beautiful. And I, again, I love features in both. But the one that I'm actually keeping is going to be this one here, the, the traditional one. And the only reason why I chose this one over this one is because of the strap. When I reached out to Fendi, and I want you to know, I reached out to them a couple of times. I wanted to know if I could actually buy this strap as a, a repair piece like you can a lot of times with Louis Vuitton stuff. And they said, no, they don't offer, you can't buy this as a repair piece, even if you want to use on this because that would alter the bag. Now to me, that didn't make any sense because they sell straps, which automatically will alter any bag. That's the whole purpose of this being detachable, but that's neither here nor there. So like I said, I wanted to be able to carry this handheld. And I, when I was trying to carry this handheld, it just, it wasn't working for me. And I'll show you what I mean. So as you see, they're both, oh, make them kind of like the same. I'm trying to make them the same here. How about if I sit them down? But when you sit them down, this one does sit up a little bit higher, but it just it doesn't it just doesn't work. So let me let me try like that, like that right there. Can you see how this one is shorter than this one? So the one in the back definitely looks better as a handheld over this one here. Like I said, the drop is just a little bit. It's a little bit too much. It just it doesn't look. It doesn't look cute as a handheld, whereas this one does. So that's the only reason why I'm choosing this one over this one. If Fendi would have allowed me to buy this strap, or if I would have seen this strap sold on the pre-love market, which I looked, I'm gonna tell you how, how desperate I was. I was willing to look on the little bootleg market for a bootleg strap to put on this. And lo and behold, the one time I want to be shady, they didn't have it. So this beautiful bag will be going back. And I'm a little sad because like I said, I love it. I love the discreetness. I love the details, but it's the strap and I know this is going to really, it's going to irritate me when I'm having it in my hand. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't bother me, but I want the option of a smooth handheld strap. 
all right guys that's it that's my quick video of my journey for my Fendi Fendi mm, my Fendi Fendigraphy Fendigraphy however you pronounce it all right Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay blessed, stay positive. Take care. Bye.